Okay, I'm just going to run through how to uh, set and adjust the ride height on the rear end of the Automatics A12. Uh, it's quite simple this, uh, but there's one or two little tricks you can you can use to make it uh, quicker and easier whilst you're at the track. Um, so before I go any further, um, if we just look at the underside of the chassis here, you can see that the, the two pod plates attached to the outer chassis with two screws on each side. Um, unlike conventional 112 scale pod designs, there's no uh, carbon plate on the top or the bottom. So um, in it, in its current form like this, it's not very stiff because the, the two pod plates aren't connected in any way. So um, you can actually, as you can see there, just twist, essentially twist the pod because um, there's nothing bracing it from, from either side. Um, so that function is performed by the carrier in which the axle sits. Um, so this is basically two small bulkheads with a, a tube in between. It's all one piece um, and whilst being the bearing carrier and the carrier for the axle, it's also the brace for the back of the pod. So it performs a dual function. It just attaches to the back of the pod plates via these holes here and here. Uh, you'll notice these holes are not round holes, they're slotted. Um, that's because it's possible to adjust the wheelbase of the car um, by changing the position of the set screw in the side of the pod plate. So you can see I've just got a, a set screw in this hole here. Um, so this basically pushes the screw for the, the axle carrier to the front of the slot here. So this setting is the short wheelbase setting. Um, if I move this set screw to this other hole here, it basically pushes the the axle carrier screw to the back of this slot, so it lengthens the wheelbase. Um, we've in the UK we pretty much exclusively run the shortest wheelbase setting on the car, um, and it's it's important to note that that set screw I just mentioned is present in both both pod plates. So if you're going to make a change here, just make sure you change the, the location of both these set screws. Um, as I previously mentioned, the, the axle mounts inside this carrier and bolts up to the back of the car. And uh, we change the ride height by adding or removing spaces that sit between this top surface of the pod plate here and the underside of the axle carrier. Um, a neat little trick that we've uh, tended to employ in the UK is to basically have your stack of uh, ride height adjustment shims all on the screws um, so that you don't have to rummage around in your, in your box and, and look for spaces of the right thickness if you're in a hurry at the track. So um, what I've got basically on, on each of these screws here is um, a one millimetre spacer a 0.75 mil spacer and a 0.5 millimeter spacer. So using these spacers, I can adjust the, the ride height of the car in increments of 0.25 millimeters, um, starting from essentially zero spacers. Um, then it will jump up to half a mil, the thinnest, the thinnest spacer, but then I can go up in 0.25 increments um, all the way up to 2.25 millimeters if, if I have all of the shims uh, in the space between the pod plate and the carrier. Um, so that's it's quite a neat neat little trick. Just keep all of the spaces for your ride height adjustment on, on the screw on the car, just so you don't have to go looking for them when you need them. Uh, so if I've decided that uh, I need 0.75 millimeters of spaces here, um, Generally what I'll do is just insert the screw from below like this and you can see on here because I'm going to use the 0.75 millimeter spacer to set the ride height I've got the one millimeter and the 0.5 behind the head of the screw here um, they're just along for the ride really they don't perform any other function other than being there and available for when I need them um, so I'll put this in here and then just drop my 0.75 mil spacer on the top it's a little bit fiddly to do this, but if you just hold the car 
and I've generally found it's easier to put the screw into the carrier on the spur gear side first because um, access uh, to the spaces on, on that side is slightly more difficult. So if we put this side in first. Don't tighten it all the way. I've just uh, gone in a couple of threads. So this is still loose. That allows me to just move the axle out to the side, which allows me to put the second screw in here and add the spacer on the top. So I'll do that now. Just screw in there with my one millimeter and my 0.5 millimeter spacers behind the head. And just stand the car up. And then I can just hold the head of the screw with my thumb underneath. You can see it just protruding here. So then I can take my 0.75 mil spacer, drop it on the top like so, move the carrier into position, and then just hold it between my thumb and index or middle finger. Um, come on with my driver and tighten it up. So then I just nip that up, then nip up the other side. And now I can come in afterwards and tighten them fully. And then we are. So if I then decided uh, the car didn't have enough ride height, obviously I need a thinner shim to sit uh, between, between the pod plate uh, and the carrier. So I've got 0.75 here. So if I wanted an additional 0.25 millimeters of ride height, I'd rebuild this with the half mil shim in the gap and the one and the 0.75 behind the head. And that would just pull the axle towards the floor and lift the back of the car slightly.